If that's not one of the greatest wrestling moments of all time, I don't know what is. They should have put that in as a mini game, just to play and spray people with beer. That would have been fun. But anyways, hey, let's play. Welcome back to more WWE 13 Attitude Era mode. Let's play. This is March 22nd, 1999. Steve Austin versus Paul White, Albany, New York. Mr. McMahon started off the show by announcing that tonight's main event match between Austin and Paul White would feature The Rock as a special referee for the match. This was no doubt a power play to ensure a loss for the Texas Rattlesnake. However, in the interest of fairness, Commissioner Michaels vetoed the decision and instead signed a match between The Rock and Mankind to decide their special referee for the match. Mankind would go on to win with win the role as special referee, and Stone Cold would end up making this miserable night for the corporation. Win the match. Perform the Luthez Press signature move. Strike Paul White with a chair at least five times. Avoid getting hit by a finisher and perform a finisher on Paul White and pin him in ten seconds. That's simple enough. Another typical day at the office for a hero they call me. Um, just in case you're wondering, still the same day as um, when I've been up all day. Wicked tired, getting real sleepy. Uh, probably going to start making less and less sense as these videos go on, honestly. Uh, Paul White and his flipping Hershey Kiss nipples, alright. Can I skip his entrance? Yes, I can. I didn't, couldn't even hear his music. Did he have music? I'll hear it when I edit this video. Here comes Stone Cold, the Texas Rattlesnake, the most badass of the badassiest people in the, in the world. Alright, so this should be easy enough. I'm going to go straight for a chair and beat him with, down with a chair. That seems like the best uh, way to start this match off, honestly. Folks, First, I'll close line to the, the ground, though, just so I can get out of the, the ring quicker. There we go. Austin, and we'll grab ourselves. Oh, there's no chair here. Right here Usually there's tonight. a chair there, so I'm, you know, Mankind a little confused by that. There we go. Got ourselves a chair. Schmackety schmack. That's one. Two. Three. No, he's going to punch me in the dick. Ugh. Ugh. Your big ass hands. All right, pick up the chair. Three. That would hurt like a bitch. And four. And uh, we'll throw him into the steel steps. Why not? Bonk. Okay, that made a lot of sense, right? I got, like, sucked in. Oh, well, then again, he is a big, big mass, so I guess in science terms. The bigger your mass is, the more uh, force, or not force, gravitational pull you will have. So I guess I got sucked in by his fat ass. Boink! There we go. Knock him in the head. There we go. That's five times. Um, I guess we can stay in here and do some spins. Wee, 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 Oh, he's back up. Get up. Get in my ring, son, so I can knock you in the head again. How about we do DDT? Or not. How about uh, the flip and grab detection doesn't work again because this game's grab detection is crap as shit. Crap as shit. Yep, that's a word. Anyways, uh, let's take the chair right back. Thank you very much. And we'll grab him. Nope. And we'll grab him. Nope. He'll reverse it because he's Paul White. And he'll hit me in the head with it because, you know, YOLO. Reversed. Close line. Thank you. Pick up the chair. Pick up the chair. Oh, you flipping titty. Titty idiot. Uh, reverse. Let's drop him on the chair. Why not? Russian leg sweep. I would press right, but I went to the left because, you know, it's going to be retarded. All right. Grab him this time. Nope. He's going to reverse again because, once again, he's the big show and he can do whatever he wants. And my clothesline misses. At least the chair broke, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, DTA. Don't trust anyone. All right. Let's uh, pick him up and slam him on the ground. Yep. Because, you know, Stone Cold was known for suplexing the big show. Uh, but then again, I do have weight detection off, so that kind of makes sense. And there's a spine buster, but then again, it wouldn't even matter because Stone Cold is a heavyweight in this game. 
well, I guess you gotta call him a heavyweight. It's not really that oh, big or heavy, but you know that's how they they label label him in this game. I'd call him more of a light heavyweight, yeah, honestly. But that's like base. that's like boxing and terminology in like UFC and whatever. So wrestling terminology. Holy shit, that probably would have killed me in real life. It's a good thing I moved out of the way. Let's put him in the tree of woe. Nope, it's more of a snake eyes. So there we go. Boink. And we'll grab him, go behind, and uh, I don't know, schoolboy or something. Now we'll do a shin breaker because you know lifting. Deadlifting Paul Wade off the ground is easy feat to do in real life. Uh, flying over drop. Drop it on his head. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> when the pimps in the cream mount, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Ah, uh, Luthez, press the bitch. Pop it like it's hot. Uh, I don't see what he's at. Uh, we might be able to beat him with the Stone Cold Center right here. Shh, Stone Cold Center! We made him bleed. That's a plus. Big ass. Can I uh, go for the pin, please? Grab him by the legs. Pull the leg up. There we go. Tree trunk legs one. Wow, you gotta love this game. And uh, it's crappy ass finisher damage. Uh, avoid getting hit by a finisher. We can pin him whenever we want now because we already pulled off the finisher. Are we gonna power bomb him? No, pile driver. At least that's a little bit more realistic. <laughs> I can see Austin pile driving Big Show. I cannot see him power bombing him. We'll try to pin him off the pile driver. Why not? One. Nope, he kicks out again. Apparently he's on steroid mode today. Oh, back body toss. That would suck in real life. That would be like flipping 800 feet in the air. Uh, get up, Austin. Uh, losing my voice. That's awesome. That's always good to, to have happen to you halfway through the recording. Yeah, let's drop the bows. Boom, right on the face and go for the pin. Why not? One. Wow, mankind. Way to be the slowest counter in the world. Punch to the face. Do a little uh, finger action. My finger puppet show. Pick him back up. Uh, we'll drop him with the pile driver again. Ugh, Texas pile driver. What the fuck was that for, you asshole? <laughs> Seriously, why did you do that for, Matt Kind? I was just with the pile driver's ass. All right. Well, there's a signature move. It was on the ground. I see. So I'm gonna see if I can do that one. Probably stomping the mud hole or not. Uh, looks like it was on his backside. That was weird. Where did it? There we go. There it is. It's on his side side. Oh, it's the elbow drop. All right, that makes sense. Clunk. And let's pick him up and stun him again. Go for the pin. This time we will be able to beat him. And the Stone Cold Stunner. Bush. I don't know what Matt is up to, but he keeps doing weird punches. One, two, three. Thank you, Matt Kine. Stone Cold Steve Austin has defeated Paul White. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Paul White is a 500 pound bag of monkey crap. And this Sunday at WrestleMania 15, Stone Cold Steve Austin won't have it half this easy when he goes one-on-one -on -one with the great one at the most electrifying WrestleMania of all time. Well, you heard from The Rock. He thinks that uh, Paul White is a 500-pound bag of monkey crap, and uh, I would probably agree with him on that one. Not a big Big Show fan. Uh, what do we unlock? Bonus, we unlocked a bonus match. Yay. All right. Well, let's see what the bonus match is. Shane McMahon versus X-Pac. Awesome. All right. So on the next video, we uh, do Shane McMahon versus X-Pac. So I'm here with the comic. If you guys enjoyed it, show me the thumbs, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.